listen to the Quran day and night in the prayer, in the congregational prayer. Um, reading Quran, giving charity, so these are the standards. And so these are the ways that we can try to focus on in this month of Ramadan. So let me continue on with the next ayah. الَّذِينَ يُنْفِقُونَ فِي السَّرْوَى وَالْضَرْوَى And those who spend when Fisarra in prosperity, when, when even in, when they're in their in their um, best of financial situation or best of wealth, they are spending still in the path of Allah. But the Allah, even if, even when they're going through some tough times of adversity, they're still spending. Their financial financial situation is down, or their health is down. You know, they're ill or they're injured or mentally unhealthy, or mentally unstable because they're going through a tough crisis right now in their life. Even then, they're giving towards the path of Allah. But the count they mean that light who withhold their anger, meaning they don't start lashing out at people, they don't just snap out at people. They they control their anger. We're talking about you know earlier we're talking about the manners and ethics, morals. These are the most difficult but best of manners, and they, and all of these require patience. Those, these are the people that are patiently waiting for the reward from Allah. And, and lastly, in the in this ayah, عَلِينَا عَلِينَا and they pardon or they forgive the people. Notice Allah Allah did not mention or He's talking about all people. So these are the people that that want you, you forgive them. You don't hold grudges inside of your heart. And this is the most excellent conduct. This right here, not holding a grudge, being able to withhold your anger, not stepping up, this is the most excellent conduct, the most excellent behavior. That's why Allah ends the ayah, وَاللَّهُ يُحِبُّ الْمُحْسِنِينَ And Allah loves the muhsinin. Allah describes them as a muhsin. The muhsin is the highest of level of iman. So, to summarize what we spoke about just now, how do we achieve it? We're, we rush towards the good deeds without any delay. Don't think that you're young and you have time in your life. Rush towards the paradise. Rush towards the forgiveness of Allah. Raise your hands at night, in the morning. Ask Allah for forgiveness. Do as many good deeds as you can. Secondly, the ayah talks about giving charity when you're at the best time of your life. And at the worst, the lowest time of your life. You still give charity. Number three, you withhold your anger. You resist. You don't. You control your anger. Number four, you forgive others. You show patience. You show humility. And uh, that actually reminds me of a hadith that the Prophet wasallam said that he swore by three matters. One, charity will not decrease the wealth. Two, when you forgive someone. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will magnify their honor. Number three, when you show humility or you be humble for the sake of Allah, Allah will raise that person's rank. And um, so, may Allah grant us the tawfiq or the ability to be able to achieve such actions, to be able to have the best of manners. And may Allah uh, accept all of our good actions and reunite all of us in Jannah to Fidos Ta'ala. Ameen. So now we go to the trivia questions for you. So, first question is what do you do if you accidentally eat or drink something while you're fasting? Keep fasting. Where's your hand? Yes, continue your fast. That's correct. It's a mistake. It's accidental. I get, this is not you intentionally eating, by the way. If you're intentionally eating, then you're breaking your fast. So this is a mistake. Allah forgives you. Number two, what was revealed to the Prophet ﷺ in Ramadan? I heard it. Yes, Allah was revealed in the month of Ramadan. Number three, what is it called when a Muslim stays at the masjid for three or more nights? Yes, 
And the Muslim states in the Masjid of Jerusalem were not scared to God. Number four, what two actions can you do instead if you're unable to fast? So if you're not able to fast for some reason, for a valid reason, like you're sick or you're traveling, what are the two actions that you can do instead? Uh, and I'll, I'll give two hands on this one because there's two. There's two. So, one. Give feed you? Yeah, feed a new, feed a new person. Oh, feed a new person. And, um... What's the second one? Charity. Yes, charity is. <laughs> last but not least, last question. What's the primary purpose of Ramadan? I mean, excuse me, what's the primary purpose of fasting in Ramadan? Um, let me see if I see a young. Okay. What did you say? Being grateful. Being grateful? No. So again, what is the primary purpose of fasting in Ramadan? What's the purpose? It, it's in Surah Al-Baqarah. Okay. Yeah. Uh, I don't know. Yes, Allah is the Taqwa. So achieving Taqwa or God consciousness. Okay. And in some ways that we can, you know, achieve Taqwa is by of course, performing the mandatory prayers and actions, you know, everything we talked about, asking love forgiveness, giving charity, observing the best of ethics, morals, and of behavior. Inshallah, may Allah give us the tawfiq to be able to do all of that. I mean, subhanahu wa ta'ala,